Welcome back, everybody, to the NECC. My name is Infernosis, joined here by the oh-so-handsome, clean-shaven, uh, and hopefully ready to get into the match underway. It's Fellow, a.k.a. Fellow the Caster on Twitter. Make sure to check him out. We've got ourselves two teams ready and ready to go, and I'm fairly excited for this one here in our Navigators division. Yes, I am so excited, too, to be casting this best of three series. This I'm just joking. Yeah, I, I am very happy. There was, um, <laughs> oh, my God, there was a game I casted for due process where I literally, like, intro like that and asked my, like, co-commentator in the analyst desk, like, how he was feeling. He's like, I am so excited to be here. And I was like, I am going I, to it, cast it literally this game so Biggest well. left hook of the night by far. <laughs> but we do not have the uh, regularly scheduled program. I believe the two teams that we were supposed to be actually casting over will not be here. But instead, we have the Carroll Pioneers versus Lebanon Valley. So we'll go talk about the Pioneers first and foremost for their roster tonight. And then we will transition over towards Lebanon Valley right afterwards so we have i believe it's it's silent saucy monkey lion poppy van helsing and then good being which we've actually casted a couple of these players before uh with their former lineup for the yep. last season of acc i believe it to be scott yep we've seen saucy monkey and lion poppy and i believe we've also seen van helsing but the team that we've actually yes. definitely seen uh, and i can just call out immediately also nice undeclared from saucy monkey i get that i understand that unfortunately i knew what i was going to do or at least i thought i'm definitely not doing it now but uh you know it's fine to be undeclared don't let anyone tell you otherwise next line up for our, our next team and yeah this is the team that we were a bit more uh, cognizant of as we recognized almost all the names for him lemon valley's side mr davis tv duck otherwise known as Rupsy duck Liquify the Senate in McStuffins. Four out of the five of these names were guaranteed. I think Duck used to be Ducky and changed his name. I may be mm. incorrect, but he may have just gone by Psyduck actually at that time. Uh, so Ooh. Syrup Psyduck could be something to keep maybe an eye out for if that's actually how it's pronou pronounced. So it's not Syrup C, it's just Syrup. I don't know why he that's incorrect on the screen. So we'll take blame, but good night. What a degree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what sorry. is that like mouthful? Digital communication what is, is this an amalgamation? Digital communication and political science dual degree <laughs> slash social justice and civic engagement minor. What? I respect it. I really respect it. That he is, is getting his money's worth, dude. At, that is up. Uh, listen, if I'm paying, man. if I'm paying for 21 Unjob. hours a semester, I'm doing 21 hours yeah. a semester. Also, uh, liquify, uh, great choice. Uh, physics was probably the most enjoyable science class I ever took. It's very fun. I guarantee I, you, it's not. It's not the same thing. I. Much. It's a lot. Of, my it's a my lot friend of, has like, that type of stuff, and, like, and he and hates cheats. it. You gotta you gotta yeah. go through. But the labs you get to do, sometimes it's a lot of writing, don't get me wrong, but the labs themselves, very fun. Kind of like chemistry, but I hated chemistry. Anyways, I'm hoping to not hate the best of three map series for tonight. Maybe some more exciting stuff from what we saw earlier today because we had like the most dry run stuff for when we were actually casting. And there is a small amount of variety. Yes, we have Chalet, but it's still Villa and Clubhouse, so... Nothing over the top, but better than probably what we had earlier tonight, Scott. I do like seeing Chalet on the board. That's going to at least put me out first and foremost saying, hey, I'm at least going to have a fun map one. Um, but I actually really enjoyed Levin and Valley last time we casted them. They're pretty entertaining because at that time, we they were a very unstructured team. I think you can agree with me on that. They were very all over the board. They didn't really have that much. We're now looking at them six months after, like at most six months after, this should be a team that will have formulated a lot more and keeping what I think is maybe five out of five, probably four out of five. Uh, it, it very well could be five, if I'm incorrect. Of, of the same exact roster, the chemistry should definitely be there. And that's something that's pretty hard to do in the collegiate scene, especially when you're not one of these like living legend teams like NC State or Purdue or things like that. It's kind of hard to keep everybody into the same pacing and grind set. But they're obviously there. And our band phase is here for the map of Chalet. John, quick guess. No other words. Four agents. What are we seeing? Thatcher. Um, well, if, if, we'll be, if we'll be. No the words. No the words. No the words. Oh, you're cheating. God. Whatever. I was gonna be funny. <laughs> really, that's not today on the forte no. for tonight. Uh, Thatcher, Flores. Actually, no, that's not gonna happen. That's here. it's gonna be a jackal pick. Who am I kidding? It'll be Jack. No, it's open. Okay, 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 Carol. All right, all right. Carol Pioneers actually kind of stepping it up. Um, probably like Mira for sure, and then it, it's either like. I'll just I'll stick to my guns. It'll be Cade as well. Yep. 
<laughs> yeah. Cade. Yeah. All right. Three out of four. Not bad. I, I can so, almost. So what's the fourth? What, what's the fourth? Mira. 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 I don't, yeah, Mira sure. How much? How much you gonna bet Mira's left on band? Uh, no, I'm not a betting man. Uh, hug. But I Give do think it'll, I'm, I'm very confident it's gonna be Mira. Fairly confident it'll be Mira. Yeah. So I don't get a hug. This sucks. All right. Oh, that was the bet. Oh, that you would have I would like, never bet money with Columbus. you. If anything, I'm handing you money because you're worth so much to me. Come on. Oh, ridiculous. That's amazing. And think I am? You're gonna make me cry tonight, <laughs> Scott. I can't do that. I thought the first game was gonna make you cry. Honestly. <laughs> No, we were we were we were questions on the strategy. It was funny though. I I enjoyed that game in in, mm. in in its own way. I really hope they've audited you that because I think it'd be pretty good for them. Look at I the agree. face Ace is making at me. That makes me so wildly uh. uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking he at? Knows, too. He's purposely trying to make us uncomfortable here in the booth. But uh, hey. I, I actually kind of like the Nomad band because it forces something like a Gridlock or a Zero, which they're both good for a map like Chalet, but it's just such a such a high comfort pick of having the set and forget gadgetry of the Nomad. It's much more effective in comparison than the Gridlock tracks, but they both work in a very similar way. They both have audio cues. Technically, you have to either shoot or like impact grenade, either the air jet or the Gridlock tracks, and if not, you either get a blasted on your behind or you uh, just lose a bit of HP. So you pick your poison in that uh, endeavor. So it looks like it'll be the gridlock here, the Aussie operator for round number one, at the very least for attacking master and also offices. But hey, because we saw a Kaid and a Mira ban, Valkyrie is on the board, and I am very happy that we have Psyduck actually uh, rocking her tonight as well. I want to point out the very first thing I noticed. I don't know if you noticed this as well, but it's very obvious to me. This might be colorblind. Just the total differences in the, in the color, brightness, and contrast from game one with Max and now our second observer coming of Tofu. Uh, thanks to him, by the way, for subbing in. Apparently, we weren't prepared for that initially, which is why the delay. But total contrast color difference. It's pretty interesting. It's fine. Uh, but if it seems a little brighter, just switch your phone screen down a little different, bit. Uh, different maps require bigger brightnesses. That's, that's like it. a little that's fun it. fact. Especially the a, one that's totally white everywhere because it's covered in snow. Yeah, but in the uh, building, it's very moody. So Moody? Is that a good way to phrase that one? Mm, there's know, ambience. Be. Ambience. That's a good way to phrase that. Could be a little romantic, yeah. you know? Ooh, the Chalet vacation home. Mm. <laughs> Stop bringing vacation home. You're going to make me laugh. That's the second reference to that we made today. But uh, I also really do like the lineup we're seeing right here. We're talking about the objective we're seeing right now. We're seeing the office and master bedroom site. And for the defensive presence, there is no kind of emphasis on that shield play as you only are maximum seeing... Uh, maybe one stationary player that could be behind piano but without that shield in front of a or a goyo shield in front to kind of waste that time or any shield at all to be frank uh it's going to be a game of playing from different avenues and we're seeing that right now a, a, a stark contrast to before there is an escape made by lion poppy but damage has been dealt and there's a second player peeping sir psyduck is aggressive trying to assist their teammate who just failed on their previous peak Ooh, saucy monkey. Almost going monkey mode there and towards blue stairs. Luckily, they won't die out just yet. You can actually walk past through those track stingers, and eventually they'll do just that. They tried picking up some sort of frag before they finally committed to that top floor, but unfortunately, they were not able to net anything oh. as of yet. Oh, no, and they weren't expecting somebody playing right next to Piano Room with no utility, at least in terms of a shield. But so far, Lebanon Valley, they've been able to get those first two opening picks. Great stuff accomplished by them so far, and they almost had a flank happen. It's coming into fruition by the hands of Liquify, but nothing going to happen just yet. Now, it appears that Silent has been down. The Nitro Cell not going to finish him off, but brilliant stuff so far by Lebanon Valley. And there's that flank I was just talking about moments ago, Scott. And they're just keeping an eye on it. This is a very smart position for Liquify as well. Now, that position has been spotted before, and they do know that that could still be uh, somewhere for Lebanon to be holding, but... The, the decision not to be greedy and actually step up into Fireplace Hall, I really like the patience in that decision. So, very well, uh, I would say, a very well-respected defense. But McStuffins, unfortunately, would be the first to fall. This is Lebanon Valley's first death in this map, let alone this round, as it is round one. But 
It's only the Jaeger. You're only losing the 416C. No active utility off the board. Liquify will go, and you lose the flanking player that was watching the rear, but they're not watching the floor, and Van Helsing will unfortunately fall to Mr. Davis, giving them their 3K. 4K could be a possibility, but Serb Psyduck will deny it, and Silent will be the last player to fall. And I do want to mention going into this that we checked the ranks before, and by far, Mr. Davis TV, just like the last time we saw them, probably the most clinically talented player on this roster. Uh, across both teams, I would say, in terms of their stat lines for stat tracking. I think you would agree with me on that, uh, John. Mm -hmm. We've done our research. We're geniuses here. We definitely Indeed. go out of our way to make sure everything is known. We go above and beyond. Uh, I most certainly uh, do not. Just kidding. <laughs> only only kidding only kidding i, uh, I, I swear don't. that was part of the script guys you gotta believe me all don't right tell them we're reading a script that ruins the allure uh, yeah this script was uh more for like a comedy based show that's why we're throwing out all the jokes so early in the match up here uh clearly though nothing but serious faces for the side the of lebanon as they will take that first round pretty effectively um, just not gathering any proper information besides just face checking there for the pioneers is not the greatest way to start out that first round. I think they were in the right direction towards like the beginning of that round, you know, trying to establish some sort of flank watch in blue and gathering a little bit of information and trying to go for that first pick. But once they went all the way to the top floor, they just got heavily tunnel visioned on the site itself and that allowed the flank to be mildly effective and also just the small lurk game be effective as well by Mr. Davis who was just sitting in piano one of the most default spots just put a shotgun landing some clean shots there actually he might have been on the valkyrie instead i might have gotten the wrong player there in that predicament but still having somebody there was just plentiful enough for lebanon to take that first round and they did so pretty effectively as well i'd like to point out the drone economy for last round was five drones out five drones alive at the end of the prep phase which means they didn't lose anything which is fairly good and they actually drove fairly well early in the round we just saw a stark contrast from the beginning to the end of the round where once they lost those two players those aren't your two players are like they have to be the droners they have to be the droners you still need information if they're dead, somebody has to pick up that slack, right? There has to be a, a strategy behind it to recover from that position. We just didn't see a lot of information gathering, which is why, like you said, the ego peaks go through. And right now, we can hear the drones rolling across the concrete as, from the looks of things, Carol Pioneers are looking to come in from the northern side of the map, working in from basement hall, coming from that garage side, liquefies on the flank, working from the main entrance of this western side of the map. Looking down towards the basement stairs, Track Stinger sent, and unfortunately for Liquify, Tunnel Vision's in on that, and Van Helsing with a cheeky play swings for the kill. Yeah, nice start so far here for the Pioneers, and now they can, for the most part, just set their eyes solely on the bomb site of Wine. I would like to have maybe Good Being potentially go back up above, and it looks like we can actually see Stuffins go on a bit of a flank here. The patience will have to be key. Saucy Monkey will get down, so that will actually lean most of the attentions over by the Pioneers towards the site itself. Good Being will land a nice shot, and as Saucy Monkey gets recovered, we are back into a five versus three now confirmed, but Mick Stuffins once again just waiting for the best moment here to go for this swing and try to net as many kills as he can to potentially be that great equalizer trying to play this one somewhat slower the sun 11 and valley they have to have a mighty hill to recover as they were two players down now one with a kill by mr davis and already at four that's an impressive amount to uh, collect this far into it but unfortunately looks like silent will be just that sneaking their way onto the site through the hard wall over towards util and will actually get that plant down mixed offense from basement stairs able to find one but at the same time good being able to find one in return onto mr davis mixed offense with a second commando in hand and commanding the pace in the second half of this second round unfortunately the only assistance left available for mcstuffins was one lonesome player who's now felled just as swiftly as the rest stuffins needs to make this swing quite aggressively finds their third saucy monkey we'll have to find another round to swing Ooh. and quad kill for mcstuffins an aggressive ego peak no information to go off of and yet still finding themselves a kill and four on top the defuse Defender will go through lebanon valley with two in a row just way too much over swinging there against the mozzie not those last two players stacked up but the maverick well. running 
running just completely out in the open against that flank, and then also the sledge trying to refrag. I believe that was good being completely unnecessary because you already had two people in that long hallway all the way from big garage actually just watching down in towards the site they also would have been able to watch mcstuffins go on that uh reposition as well once they moved past the west main stairs so definitely a bit over the top there for the pioneers and that ended up uh, biting them once we got a little bit deeper in towards the uh, post plant position so great recovery there by lebanon but man it, it definitely got way too close and we actually saw uh, the Mozzie uh, of Stuffins actually almost walk over the gridlock track a second time in a row that was in the site. And that if that happened, he would have died. He was on that low of HP. Yeah. So it actually almost didn't matter at the very end there, which would have been hilarious for the Pioneers. Not so much here for Lebanon. But hey, at least that did not happen. And McStuffin was able to get the one before clutch and uh, get the defuse down as well. That would have been one of those funny moments of being like, yes, so close, yes, so far, and then just dying at the last second. The most famous Escape from Tarkov clip of all time is a dude that got absolutely shredded throughout the entire time playing, was 1 HP, had to make the getaway, and as he's walking to get out of the map, he clips his head on barbed wire and dies instantly, and was literal feet from being able to survive. I think that would have been just as funny as that one right there, to see that go that direction. Not as funny for Lemon and Valley fans, so to say, but would have still been a very funny scenario. But with two rounds advantage, they've given themselves a cushion, and now that we're seeing a new objective being forced to be played, as Lemon has won their last two, they're not opting to go for your mainstay bar objective. Instead, we're seeing them opt for the kitchen site, and I think this one is... I think generally being picked for them because they like the idea of the extension and having Liquify still be available to roam inside Fireplace and maybe still down by Snowmobile, but they lose early as Liquify can't even make the escape a little slow to shoot out both those drones. Even then, probably could have just not shot the drones and gotten away in good enough time just because of the reaction time of those other players, but wow. That is a big loss to take early, and McStuffins is trying to frag it back in return, but takes a lot of damage, just barely coming up above silence. Yeah, unfortunately, inaccurate timing there by Lebanon. Luckily, they could be granted a second chance of finding some sort of pick here. McStuffins will spot out the Gemini. He's not going to be able to get any sort of pick just yet, but they are once again remaining patient here. That was the big thing that netted them so much success last round, and they are not going to be giving up this top floor without a fight, and that almost ended much quicker than anticipated, spotting out the player up towards that single window leading into the bathroom. Finally, the drop down is being baited, but Mitz Duffins will actually now reapproach back up the, in the top floor, but into Saucy Monkey, unfortunately enough. Five versus three, very early on for the Pioneers once again, as they are looking to remain dominant so far on their attacking half but yet they have not secured any round win just yet but maybe this could be the round where that finally changes as oh. they're looking to find another pick here the maestro having no idea what just hit them as the verticality is too much to handle and now it's a four versus two with pioneers still in the driver's seat think about it there's so much open floor plan placeability great nitro cell tossed at dbno saucy but Mr. Davis is not actually going to be aware of it. Kind of took a step back, and I think that actually cost them the kill as so they were trying to step away to make sure they didn't take any damage. But the open floor plan ability for the side of Kara Pioneers is really strong, and it's such a danger to the Lebanon Valley side. They brought that sledge. They have the buck. There's just so much on the board. It's too much to deal with, and wow, Mr. Davis still finding a kill in the process, but that nade flown over the top right into the seats. Oh my goodness, can I have a more perfect throw to that position? And not only does it find the final kill, but it finishes the player upstairs because <laughs> the seat gives it just enough height to actually hit the floorboards and go straight through. What an interesting way to end that round. I guess he had a spot reserved there in the dining room, and uh, I think it was not something we actually expected there tonight here, Scott. So... Carol Pioneers, they finally get their first round on the board, but they have been doing relatively well in the early bits of a good chunk of these rounds so far, so I can't really blame them for that. Uh, looks like the patience that time around by Lebanon Valley was the exact opposite of what they needed there, and also just the uh, general awareness there, especially of the Malusi early on, of knowing when to actually back off and go for the retreat instead of 
actually trying to overstay your welcome Defenders by shooting a couple of drones and trying to net some sort of pick dagger. because normally when there's a drone to follow up, there's normally a player not too far behind it, so you always need to weigh in those losses no matter what position you're in. But hey, speaking of position, we're going back to the top floor site of Master, I believe it to be, yep, Master Room and Offices with a fairly similar lineup here for Lebanon Valley. I think the only difference is now Liquify is off the Malusi and now on a Alibi, but that will still allow them to be relatively active on that Rome game, and maybe if they're lucky enough, they could get another flank underway that could be quite successful in finding one and potentially more picks depending on how well they play their cards here. <sighs> well, I think... So far from what I'm saying, I actually really like the defensive setup. Liquify is no longer playing with that Malusi, is actually transitioned over and playing with the Alibi. That MX4 Storm, being able to have that 1.5 scope was really game-changing. I wouldn't say game-breaking, but there are definitely some players that just kind of take that step ahead to separate themselves when they play that. Uh, I just would like to see a little bit more when it comes down to Senate. We noticed in that last round, especially just not really paying attention to the audio cue of that skeleton key ringing out above and then just not being able to move away. This is an easy kill in a situation that could have been just him walking away just a little bit further. That's one of the weaknesses of trying to create that open floor plan. Pulling out the skeleton key, switching back to the rifle, uh, making that switch on the rifle itself to do so. Same thing with the sledgehammer, having to pull out your weapon. It's just slow enough that it can be possible and usually is possible for the player on the opposing end you're targeting to make their great escape. We just didn't really need to see that. And Senate needs to do more than just gather information, which they've done plenty of with plenty of meatball cams as well as bulletproof cams to gather everything necessary. Just like Cyrus Eye Duck can actually gather a kill with a nitro cell on a silent. So I think his, uh, the P for both Psy and also Syrup are the same one. He might have ran out of room in his uh, character creation to actually fully flush out his name, unfortunately. But Psyduck, speaking of the devil, he got that first Nitro Cell kill, and that Rome game not being dealt with is really being a pain for Carol Pioneers now as they have to move from the top and bottom. It's Psyduck with yet another on the round that will now reclaim the lead up here for Lebanon. Doesn't seem like they're aware that McStuffin's not that far away either. They have all of their sights gathered on towards the player stacked up in dining room that could allow for this Jaeger player to actually go big once we see this uh, main wall being opened on up. Spots out Lion Poppy for just a sheer second, but gets a second at chance and then just to actually get that pick on towards good being. Four versus two now here for Lebanon Valley as the Rome game has not been dealt with and really the Pioneers, they only have one clear way of entering the site and that's in towards offices where they are probably going to be greeted with some sort of nitro cell and maybe even some evil eyes in the back pocket of the Senate as he has not fallen just yet. Only fit five seconds left to work, but it looks like Lebanon Valley have set themselves up for success. A two-player advantage to their side, but with Smoke Canister still in the pocket, the last one being sent, it does lead us to believe that maybe Carol Pioneers can step up to get that plant down. However, I think Van Helsing's kind of tunnel visioning in, not really assisting Lion Poppy on the side. Of course, the sight lines are cut off to themselves, but you got to do more than that, and Lion Poppy will be the unfortunate brunt end of an extra self send as Micro, uh, Mr. Davis were able to find themselves the kill. Now shooting out an alibi. Uh, unfortunate. They'll be pinged out and Van Helsing's trying to bait away a little bit more time. There's just not much to work with and it'll be an easy swing by Mr. Davis. Those replicators can be quite annoying, John, and we're seeing that right there as they just need to pry and poke and wait for the last player to come into their loving arms. Once again, just too much tunnel vision and not really looking at the bigger picture. You have so much of the map to play with, especially when you are either on the very top floor or bottom floor here for any of the sites for Chalet. So you should always be anticipating that. But hey, I like the change moving into round number five. The Jackal pick by Saucy Monkey, that has been their biggest problem is not getting the Rome game taken care of, especially since the Nomad has actually been banned. Unfortunately, that has been a bigger issue than actually a, a net buff for them, despite the fact that Bell Helsing has been rocking the gridlock almost every single round. So at least they're trying to be more proactive in their rounds. But although on paper this looks better, they still need to execute this play with the Jackal properly, or else it's just going to be wasted potential as they could have had something else on the board instead, like another set of grenades that could have been much more effective moving in towards the latter end of round number five. Whew, three rounds to the side of Levin and Val, only one for Carol Pioneers, and we're now heading back down to the basement objective. Levin did a pretty good job on this one, but it was only off the back of mixed offense. This is something that isn't 
It's something you would expect to replicate time in a timeout. If the more you see one player individually carry in a match, the more likely you are to see them fall off on map two, or the late stages of map one, or even map three. You kind of burn out in that position. It's really hard in this game of attrition, like we talked about in our last match, to survive and sustain that same level of play. So keep an eye out for the rest of the Lebanon Valley side to need to step up to kind of assist uh, and kind of pick up the slack for where maybe Mr. Davis and McStuffins kind of fall back a little bit on the board. But for the side of Kara Pioneers, they're... Pretty darn even. Only Lion Poppy at single digit one. Otherwise, it's two plus for the side. Two having two, one having three, and one having four. But an early death almost employed there by Kara Pioneers. The silent takes a lick of damage right at the start in the first 20 seconds. Losing out on both the Blowtorch and also that set of grenades could have been very unfortunate for the Pioneers. Luckily, they're not going to have to worry about that reality just yet because the Maverick will still stand tall for the time being. Liquify could maybe get some sort of opportunity to maybe find some sort of pick, whether it be on the Maverick or just somebody else that is uh, unknowingly walking into the Lion's Den here for Liquify. Someone will have to eventually walk down West Main, so it's only a matter of time before they try to find some sort of pick, but I believe a Jackal Inox scanner has actually snuffed out the Malusi. A Saucy Monkey's uh, overall tick marker there at those Jackal Pings is now two instead of three and eventually that will not lead to the death of liquify but instead mcstuffins will fall by the hand of it silent so keeping that member glide has actually paid dividends so far for the carol pioneers they've been able to get that first blood and now force a complete fallback here by the rome game as well with still the second half of the action phase left to spare it's an interesting extension that they did employ but obviously kind of coming up short in their force to transition back a little bit sooner than i would like to see that cushion that they created for themselves has now come up flat more like a whoopee cushion as it's unfortunately come out a dull point in their force to now sit up and turtle on the site and this is something that we saw care pioneers do a really good job of well, last time as they had es essentially caught off the lebanon valley uh, off guard as a quick plant through that utility hard wall and it was silent that had initially done that and keep in mind he was hurt very early in this one so maybe not the player they'll look to send in this time around but it's definitely a possibility to see it go through liquify will be able to heal back up now playing inside of halls and can try to keep themselves in fighting attention fighting shape but saucy monkey kind of soloed right now inside basement hall trying to trick the lebanon valley defense that they are in fact going towards that hall but no date and switch it's the south side of the map towards snowmobile and they could potentially go for a plant here but it is a very open concept if you actually want to try to get that diffuser down inside of the b bomb site the senate just playing quite comfortably inside of connector could actually deny this play entirely they don't have a nitro cell in their pocket but just still having the sight line potentially to play off of is not going to be a point of contention any longer as there are a couple of smoke grenades tossed on out lion poppy now going for the diffuse and no one is here to deny unfortunately those two smokes were more than enough to get the job done now in the post position here for the pioneers it's a five versus three favoring them as well and they're not really enforcing their stay just yet they've completely fallen back for the most part they are waiting for the defense to actually approach upon them the senate tries to get aggressive but is not able to connect any shots at all still technically a five versus three as senate now will get finished on off liquify tries to go for a one for one but is not able to win out that first duel can finally finish off the sledge but they're still at a massive disadvantage now turn tenfold as it is basically just a four versus one now hard confirmed it's going to be a run out attempted by mr davis but they are shut down almost immediately by van helsing just waiting quite quite well outside of the building as well so that's going to be a second round win now for the attacking side as the pioneers rotating around and towards snowmobile actually worked out for them despite the fact they only had smokes for coverage now this is the last round of the half and the only time we've seen glimpses of true success from the side of Karen Pioneers has been that basement side. And where is Lebanon Valley trying to go to once again? It's the basement side. You've essentially, I'll say it, you lost twice on this map, on this round, on this objective. You've lost twice. That first time when you took the W was only because McStuffins clutched up in a huge situation. That's not going to happen again. Both times came down to a four on one or a four on two or four players left standing and you just kind of fumbling to figure out where to transition yourself and how to play in the post plan. This is not your objective for the post plan. Please play bar. Please play this first floor. We're not seeing that. And John, I just think that's a huge weak link for them. This just doesn't seem like the Lebanon Valley that took the other round so dominantly. You would feel like they would have a strategy for the other objective. Apparently they 
do not. Um, I guess we do not know what the site Barn Gaming is, but from what extensions we have seen by Lebanon, it's mostly been just light roams, so I guess that kind of makes sense why they would try to avoid the middle floor of Barn Gaming, because then you have to actually use a lot of utility and sacrifice a lot to actually play on that top floor. Still, it is a great way to waste time, and the Pioneers have been very unsuccessful in terms of getting a lot done in the early bits of the round, besides just finding some sort of pick here and there. Not a lot of proper map control or that much done. At least though, since they've gotten those first picks, they have been able to transition over and towards a, a proper execute. But if they weren't as successful in those endeavors, then we would probably have a more one-sided uh, matchup here on Chalet for the first half. I think one of the big important factors for this round is look at how hefty of an extension this one is. And while it may not necessarily net a kill, it could be a huge time sink. It's liquefy could be first player to get a kill or to find a kill. Silent comes up. He swings down. Gets it. Actually barely managing to finish them off as they had DBNO'd them initially. But good being there with the quick trade back. Liquify getting an even trade doesn't necessarily assist you every single time. It's tough and slow on the draw. But thankfully still there to find a headshot kill. And that will be Lemonade Valley taking an early start. And it's back down to even. Because you can't hop off that sprint key trying to rotate back to sight. Fortunately not. Pioneers once again now in the driver's seat. They don't have any really super helpful secondary utility. They've got only smoke grenades. So I feel like the best option for them is potentially trying to utilize those Inox scanners to find out someone's position inside of the objective room and then maybe tossing out some track stingers to deny a couple of, you know, quick peeks. That could have happened potentially by Lebanon Valley. Mr. Davis is playing quite aggressively here, but he does have the information by his dead teammates on the Black Eye cameras to actually know where exactly this push is coming in through. And I don't think they can actually open up that back wall either. So they have to funnel in towards this single doorway where we have Mr. Davis and Senate holding up a nice crossfire potentially. So if we don't see any late round rotate by the Pioneers, they might just be walking into their own gravesite. This is really... Such a strange ending to the round of the Hero Pioneers. They will open up the wall leading out towards that util side, but Mr. Davis still has a complete view on duel leading out towards Basement Hall. Sees the shoulder fire at this point in time. There it is. Headshot kill. Evening us out at two apiece, but Lion Poppy just sprays through the smoke. He comes up big. A massive clutch, and now the Nitro still has to be tossed. Go for it. Get it off. Tosses it. Barely only gets one. Somehow Lion Poppy surviving it, and it's a one-on-one -on -one post plant scenario. Player lying back in wait. Just trying to Bite their time. Lion Poppy knows that if they get too aggressive, too greedy, and they go for the kill, it could pay off the other direction and send it with a great lurk, finding the headshot kill, and Lemonade Valley will go up 4-2 at halftime. Not a bad start at all for Lebanon Valley, and I believe this being their map pick, no, it is not. I am actually quite shocked because they are playing very well on Chalet. It's normally an attacker-favored map, yet... We saw a 4-2 split favoring the defense, so I am heavily concerned for the Pioneers, unless they just bring out their A game here on the defense. Normally in Collegiate, you can see those very lopsided uh, halves for both teams, so it is definitely possible we see that redemption arc here by the Pioneers before we go into a second map, but that is still asking for a lot, and it doesn't really look like the Lebanon Valley players want to have that happen because their lineup is looking quite strong moving to their first attacking round. And I think that's kind of the tempo that we need to see continue for Lebanon Valley. There was obviously a couple round glimpses where we're like, okay, well... This isn't it, right? You just got in a situation where you dominated the other rounds. You just got put in a 4v2, a 4v1, and you didn't get anything out of them. And I think that the recovery from Lebanon Valley, especially with the fact that uh, the tail of the night for them has been that basement site not working. They finally able to get that. That's not just a win in the books to give yourself a two-round advantage at halftime. That's one of the books to say, we can make those mistakes and we can adapt as the game goes on. And I liked the adaptation of their defensive extension, the roam game throughout. They really tried to play it as a two-player extender. And unfortunately, despite it working once, as they got an even trade out and were able to go back, I still felt like they were too greedy. And that could be a problem that also occurs on the defense. Greed does not always pay out. So 
how do you, as Lebanon Valley, play smart and play with enough strategy to catch Carol Pioneers unable to defend against your siege? Say, for Lebanon Valley, they've got a lot of options in terms of destruction. They have a couple of grenades, multiple Gon Sixes, and also the Rotero drones. So this utility game implemented here by the Pioneers probably won't be that big of a concern depending on where both the ADSs and Mute Jammers are placed and what type of utility is being done for a specific clear on a certain part of the map. So it'll most likely come down to kills, if anything, between Lebanon Valley and the Pioneers, which in the beginning of the round, we've seen the Pioneers be quite explosive, but towards the end game, that's when they started lacking. So if we have that first blood favor the Pioneers, they could be in a pretty great position overall to seal the deal in a lot of their defensive rounds, but that could be a potential uh, opposite of what happens. Davis was opting to go for a grenade toss and he ended up throwing one out to go for a pick but it did not get anything done for him. In fact, he lost a bit of damage or a little bit of HP pardon probably to either a player or his own fragmentation exploding right in front of him. And yet again, the exact same thing will happen except this time the Senate tries to go for some pop shots and not netting a kill but instead dealing some damage towards Saucy Monkey. So it still remains that five on five but hey, no first loss of life just yet for the Pioneers. Not that horrible at all, especially since, you know, having a Five on four favoring Lebanon would have been much worse for them this endeavor. Oh, well, Senate, um, we won't talk about it. And the fall goes through. We're going to talk about it for just a minute here because oh, I feel no. like there's a lot to unpack right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. The cell flash. Thankfully, there is a think gun, and Sir Psyduck actually realizes that they can pick them back up and will utilize the utility. And that's important because the Rotero Jones that are still in pocket for the Senate would be great at flushing out the uh, utility that's still placed on site. Lion Poppy is hiding behind a shield. That shield could go down in a moment's notice, plus the fact that a Goyo is on the table, which means there's more shields that they have to get through, and the Tarot Jones are really solid about doing so. But the Senate steps up. Showing that I'm not just a player that can fall off cliffs. I can also pick up frags and does that just the same on a good being. A four on four. 45 seconds left, John. The speed has to go forward, but I'm seeing Lebanon Valley still hesitate. And this could be their undoing because Carol are playing very cheeky angles. And Senate's just going in. The only two to get aggressive have been both Senate and Mr. Davis, and now that the Flores has fallen by a flank by Silent, this could be a much more challenging round to actually overcome here. The bomb, or pardon the defuse, not being intended just yet by Mr. Davis, but that could potentially happen if there is some sort of coverage. He's trying to stick it here, but they have no one to actually stop the Jaeger from just directly pushing this man. The Finca will attempt to cover, but no! Silent just remains headstrong in holding Sunroom. Why? You could have actually stopped the plant from going down there wasn't any sufficient coverage there now in the post plant position we have the setup being much better here for lebanon valley and the retake will have to come in through in these next few short moments it looks like the pdw will just put in a bunch of bullets against both van helsing and the not jaeger i believe it to be but it was actually lion poppy now leaving only silent left to stand and there isn't much he can do here you've got someone stacked up on the window and i think mr davis has completely rotated around oh. it won't even matter where Mr. Davis is playing at because Psyduck is the final player to net a frag on this round and man the timing there by the defense was just so upsetting they had no idea what just happened there when the Ayana started going for a plant keep in mind when you see a when you see a wire like that hanging down the rope for the repel if you see the wire through the entire window they're on the bottom of the window right? They're below it. That's how gravity, that's how the function of the piece of utility being able to repel in this game works. So them taking the time to look upwards instead of down, precious time for the, I guess, then defending. It's the attacking team of Lebanon Valley. And it's just going to, it's just going to guarantee themselves around win. I loved the transition for them. Why we didn't see Carol Pioneers go in for any sort of aggression. Why we didn't see them step up and try to continue what they were doing the entire time before of jiggle peeking around, finding swings, applying pressure in the other direction. Is it because they lost their two pillar players? And then those two players were the only ones that were, in, in, I guess, imploring that type of strategy. It's hard to necessarily tell, but they're not performing at the level that will facilitate a defense that can keep Lebanon Valley at bay because they're a very aggressive team when it comes down to it. Look at what Senate did. Probably didn't know that they got spotted doing that and falling off the clip. Probably knows that at least it's uh, can be guesstimated, but we saw everything and then turns around and finds huge impact in that round combo with Mr. Davis. They almost single-handedly opened that second floor up to their squad and it just led to nothing but success.
Yeah, L plus you fell off plus W plus you unfell off. I guess that is the uh, overall story arc of the Senate there because he got two very important kills, like you mentioned. He very much so opened up the the round entirely for Lebanon. I don't feel like we need to add much more onto that. Moving into this middle ground site, though, of dining room and kitchen, we still haven't seen barn gaming in play at all here on Chalet, which is very disheartening for both you and me. I could almost guarantee that. Also, it's a bit upsetting that we don't have any kind of vertical player, no main soft destructor of either a buck or sledge, even something like an Asher or Zofia is not on the board here. So even if we have this top floor clear, be successful by Lebanon in terms of just removing that Rome game by either killing them or forcing them to fall back, it might be all for naught because they can really only get a hatch opened up and that's about it. They'll still have to fall back down and towards that middle site and then have to go for the default play with no no vertical coverage at all when going for that plant so this could still be a very challenging round for lebanon to actually get as a victory here in comparison to just flat out losing it so i'm i'm very concerned for them moving into the rest of this eighth round there's a lot of gunshots and trades attempting to go through it's mostly just up to this point been players trying to uh, i guess create a cushion but notice the aggression we see there from serps iduck steps in and pays the price. Two players being there for Carol to find it. That's a very solid performance from them. They've been kind of struggling to get the double swings, and a lot of their fights have come down to one-on-ones, or even one-on-twos if Lebanon Valley brings those duos to contest, but they really... I think we can kind of guarantee that from what we've seen so far, Lebanon Valley have just been... I don't want to say the term gun diffing, but they're, these gunfights have not been 50-50, and that's kind of been one of the major problems we're seeing from Carol Pioneers. On top of their utility placements have been I wouldn't say swiftly getting 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 removed, but it's it's made it difficult for them to sit, which has created complications when it comes to the later stages of the round. So you can see the utility being destroyed, the mute jammers off the walls, and now it's up for the hard breaches from Lebanon Valley to create some space. They need to give themselves uh, maybe two to four feet inside of Diana to go for that plant, but there's still plenty of time to work with. So there's still 45 seconds on the clock, and they've got their flank completely covered. Not a horrible spot at all, especially now that things have actually equalized here. I was going to mention that we need to have some sort of pick be worked in the favor of Lebanon. That's exactly what happens. The castle now being uh, having the favor returned to him. It's not going to be a second pick for Saucy Monkey, unfortunately. The only thing keeping Lebanon at bay so far are these smoke canisters in the pocket of Lion. Mr. Davis gets silent as they were trying to move their way from West Main. Mr. Davis almost gets his head ripped clean off, but luckily will survive for the time being. Van Helsing will net one with the nine mil that is on very low HP. So a swing is most likely not bound to happen, but I am completely wrong. Van Helsing lands a second very vital pick here. Mr. Davis has pretty strong coverage so far. Senate now getting the plant confirmed here. Spots out the smoke, but can they win the gunfight? There's plenty of natural coverage on the play around, but the exact Exact same thing can be said for Mr. Senate and as Lion Poppy gets aggressive, they will finally shut down the lone attacker inside of Dining Room. And despite the small amount of aggression we saw, the bit of retaliation there by Lebanon, it was not enough to win it out in the post plant. And we will finally see a clap back here for the Pioneers. That's an important round as well. This could be considered a swing round for them. They've kind of figured out and we've seen that in the last few rounds of them being able to stay alive at least into the later stages and trying to dial in the aggression that they've been bringing and kind of been facing off against it's a game of pushing and pulling and for the side of Carol pioneers it's a game of recovery up to this point and they definitely have what it takes that last round right there is a big indicator for just that two players left standing i mean an easy defusal once that's done and there was plenty of time they didn't have to wait for the entire time of the diffuser they just handled what the business needed to be done. They didn't have a lot of utility either to be able to do so. I really liked what Karen Pioneers brought on that defensive side. But now that we're heading over to the master bedroom and office, this is one of those weak links that we saw previously. That big window gained control over by the Lebanon Valley side. That cannot be allowed, especially as early as it was last time. Castle Barricade's a great way. You force the sledge to have to walk on over or maybe breaching charges to be employed. Whatever it comes down to, utility has to be consumed by Lebanon Valley to break that down without it just being punch, 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 whatever. This isn't a UFC fight. It's a game of Rainbow Six Siege. You gotta be able to burn time. I think that's what they're going to employ as we do see Saucy Monkey with that castle. I'm predicting we'll see it being placed over towards balcony on big window and maybe even towards the side of piano and piano window as well or piano door. 
I would hope so, because that would either force a lot of time to be wasted getting that castle barricade opened up, or that would expend away one of the few gone sixes nope, that, window that are is still on the board. Yeah, no, and it would be uh, honestly a very big risk to try to break that open now. So, yeah, unfortunately Late. not. Yeah, you, you hate to see it. It'll just simply be shot open. And like you mentioned, that was one of the biggest uh, difficulties for the Pioneers was not having anything to deny Big Window. If you get somebody to run out from Trench Doorway, that can be a good way to stop that. Or just making sure they don't set up in that position at all throughout the round. Either one would be pretty nice for Carol Pioneers. Unfortunately, not able to do that last time and might not be able to this time around, depending on how Lebanon Valley set up their attack, which looks like they are doing the exact same thing they opted for last time around, trying to get solar and trophy control as early in the round as they can. And I believe that was not a Gemini drone. Nope, that was in fact Mr. Davis. So he could have lost his head very early in round number nine, but fortunately enough is not going to lose a single bit of HP as it's silent, just uh, forgot to pull down on his mouse, unfortunately. 60 seconds and a critical mistake that could cost them. But still, there's still plenty of time to recover. 120 seconds effectively on the clock. Good beings being a little bit aggressive, but this play through that window could be devastating. Takes a step back. Cynic run out on. Liquify will thankfully save, but Valhelsing is oh actually God, just playing through Ego Window. Finds a fabulous shot out of the head. A second one now <laughs> nailing it to Liquify. Peak once, shame on me. And peak twice, shame on you. Why go to the same exact angle twice if you're on the side of Lebanon Valley? It's just not the right side. And look up, Syrup Psyduck's doing the exact same thing. He's also picking this spot. This just seems like such a misguided attempt. But they'll still keep going. If this is a third kill for him, I'm just going to say that's all she wrote for this round because Changing you just can't keep giving them that opportunity. But a second nade rung out all of the utility despite those, uh, I guess, adrenal surges still in the pocket for Syrup Psyduck. But no nades. And that's going to be very hard as you've lost that destructive utility. There's only really one left standing in the hands of Mr. Davis, who collects a kill onto It's Silent. Just forget about that single window and put your pressure somewhere else, Psyduck, because you ended up just baiting two of your teammates. I'm going to be that upfront about it. You were watching that window so proactively, yet still allowed Van Helsing to get two easy pickup kills. This could have been a very different round if we still had both Senna and Lucify alive to play in these last 40 seconds. But unfortunately, that will not be the case. Last 30 seconds here on the round for Lebanon Valley to now pick up the pace. They are still opting to go for that solar take, and we now have Lion Poppy at the ready. But with those iron sights, they cannot see McStuffins as they are so far away. The E1D will now give out that rally call here for Lebanon that they have to up the ante and start getting aggressive if they want to A, get this plant down, and B, win the round completely out. 15 seconds. Three players left for Lebanon Valley. They're in a very good spot, but the recovery possible for Van Helsing, who's already been clutched for two in this round. Maybe E1 Ego out, forcing him to stand still, working, rotating through piano and office. It just doesn't seem like a huge chance for the return, but a Nitro still in pocket would allow for maybe a clutch play out window if a player is happening to sit there. One in bathroom. It's Mr. Davis, and it will not be allowed to go much further. Three players left standing for the Lebanon Valley side. They'll pick up another round, and John, a very successful one of that, especially if the last few of that haven't necessarily worked out in their direction. That's a round that they needed at least to guarantee match point. Yeah, Psyduck 100% redeeming themselves, rotating around their teammates, and just helping out in the last fight possible. Um, and also with Lion, that's one of the things I actually enjoy about Lion more than a Jackal, is his utility really doesn't get stale throughout the round, because we saw McStuffins not use their Lion scans at all during 90% of that action phase. They had all three of them saved for the execute, yet still had two lion scans go off at a very good time. One right before the plant was going down, the rush was about to happen, and then one in the middle of the post plant to hard confirm where that last defender was. So still not horrible there by the lion, but I think having at least one being used during the rest of the action phase is not a bad thing at all. At least it was still able to be utilized a tad bit there. And oh man, we're seeing a return of master. Unfortunately, we're not going to have basement or even the bar site in play here for the Carol Pioneers. I feel like this is such a huge upset because both times that this site has been in play for them on their defense, they just have not done that great of a job despite their lineup being very good to defend this top floor site. We're finally seeing Saucy Monkey putting up something on Big Window, but it's not the right Big Window! <laughs> <laughs> they
they, they heard like the little bit of like, and they're like oh okay and then oh just, okay uh, we heard big window go <laughs> yeah no no, no, no. no. Oh, second big window they're ensuring that big window they're like we don't know which one they're talking about so we'll just do all of them ah <laughs> uh, yes oh my goodness well, I, I really liked the recovery in the last round, like you said, from Lebanon Valley, when you lose two to Van Helsing. Van Helsing's ability to stay alive the entire round as well was very impressive, especially one who was thinking mm -hmm. in a very vicarious position, one that you necessarily aren't expecting, especially as an attack. To hear those shots ring out, it's on Lebanon Valley to peak that again and lose it. That's totally their fault. But still, the ability of Van Helsing there was quite spectacular. But this is another round, and it's still back to that five on five. We got to see some very hefty patience from the side of Carol Pioneers. They have to wait for Lebanon Valley to make a mistake, and they've got to be perfect as they have a three-round climb they have to go through to even guarantee OT. Otherwise, we're done with Chalet, and this was Carol Powers. Carol Powers. Carol Pioneers. I don't know why I just totally misread that. We're in the top left. Carol Pioneers, Matt Bick. Words may be hard at a, a certain extent. For me, it's actually numbers and uh, just reading in general, so I feel you there, my friend. It looks like Lebanon, they have not began to bait their teammates just yet. Psyduck is actually the first one there on that single window, which I am definitely getting a huge smirk out of because having that overt passivity by someone who's great at fragging like the Finca, it's just now it's being flipped completely on its head. So the adaptability here by Lebanon, although it is small so far, definitely brings a nice uh, big grin on my face. Like I had just said, now moving officially in towards the second half of this action phase, we finally have Psyduck, because of that aggression, actually get a pick for their team. Who would have thunk it? The Finca is a great operator for finding kills, and they actually get the oh. job done on towards Van Helsing. And now the Ayana of Mr. Davis steps up as well. It's a 5v3 off the bat, and this time it's not favoring the Pioneers. Instead, it's the other way around, as Lebanon Valley want to end out this series on Chalet as quickly as possible. Bing gives some nice shots off towards Liquify, and Liquify, instead of just re-peaking the spot, goes, I'm gonna go elsewhere. Very smart decision, staying calm in the face of danger. Lion Poppy needs to do just the same, as an aid is sent through, and it will clear the shield they were playing around in terms of behind a short wall. I'm not sure why you necessarily need a nade, a nade there, but it seems to make a big deal. Liquify will actually find the player that just tagged him recently of good being, but doesn't seem to last for much longer from the side of Sinnet. Liquify with a second. On to Lion Poppy. One player left standing. Saucy Monkey will have to show us quite a saucy performance. Does manage to find the top fragger of Mr. Davis, but Syrup Psyduck, the player that has come out of the woodworks here in these last few rounds, has just destroyed the ending of the round in these last few sessions and will give a 7-3 victory over towards the Lebanon Valley side. Chalet was a very interesting map, especially when you're considering Sinnet falling off the map. And they still won that round, too. Yeah, that's kind of off the back part. of Senate, like being the forefront the of that attack, too. That's like the funny. Yeah, that's like the best. It's part. making that up is... for it. It's just like, oh, guys, I made a mistake. So bittersweet. I got this. <laughs> so, so bittersweet, man. Oh, and also bittersweet is that was the Pioneers map pick as well. Yeah. So maybe it's a clean special into... of winning your Villa... map. Oh, yeah. Kind of. Also, a collegiate special is actually Villa, so maybe there is still hope for the Pioneers to not get too owed. That that is true because Villa is like probably one of the most played maps in collegiate. I don't know if that was the statistic for NECC because I know we did like a whole stat thing about what maps were played the most and which ones weren't. I think Oregon was actually like the least picked map actually in collegiate. So that was like hilarious in my mind because it is one of the most well known maps in every comp scene especially collegiate so that one just really was a big bit of a head scratch but before we dive a little deeper and towards statistics we will go into a quick little break and be back in just a little while before we get villa underway so don't go anywhere as we will be back sooner than you probably expect
Welcome back, everybody. Was that my end lagging? Was that just in, in general? Nope, that was just VMix. Okay, I'm just I'm just curious. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. My name is Infernosis, joined here by uh, my great friend. Well, I guess he doesn't have a name. I can make up a name for him here because he, he obviously doesn't have one here. Jason, could I be Hector, my great finally? friend Jason. Still gonna start Ooh. with a J. I could call you like okay. Jimmy or something. We're gonna go Jason. That's your name for the rest of this one. Uh, not Jason R. Jason. Uh, that guy's already known. He's a you know famous guy. You're not famous. Nobody yet. There you go. <laughs> On the grind. <laughs> We've got ourselves map to uh, pretty much ready and ready to go. We are heading over to the map of Villa, like you mentioned previously here, Jason. It is the uh, Collegiate Special. And this has been Lebanon Valley kind of leading the pace so far. And the real question is, can Carol Pioneers make a return and lead us to a map three? Will Lebanon Valley close us out in a 2-0 fashion? Say, so I'm trying to think of a, uh, a good name for you. Oh, that's true. Uh, I am also unfortunately. Unfortunately, I feel like Scottish is too fitting, so we are, I just we are not, look like such a Scot, man. It's so weird. We are not going to uh, change that here today, and it looks like we're not going to change the bands just yet. Thatcher is still on the chopping block, but that is uh, pretty normal for anywhere, so that doesn't really shock me all that much. What does shock me is that in terms of statistics from the last semester, it was actually Bank and Cafe that were ahead of Villa. It was only the third most picked map overall by collegiate teams bank leading the charge with a 20 percent pick rate then 18.4 for cafe and only 14.9 for villa so still a top favorite map just not the most favorite out of bank and cafe which are maps you and i both i don't know i don't know your opinions on banks but i know for cafe you absolutely dread that map and it is probably one of Love my least map. favorite maps to go to so i uh not that far behind you there on that train either i want to point out <clears throat> Going into that last map, we talked a little bit about these two squads, and you said, "No, nah, I don't ever do any work, do any extra work. We don't look at the ranks. We don't, we don't go above and beyond prepping for stuff." Coming into this map, the man has quite literally stolen the encyclopedia of collegiate R6 and has read off every statistic known to man. Total polar opposites. I like this new Jason. Jason is is mm. the next level of of R six casting. Somebody sign him right now to the NAL. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm very curious though with the ban phase that went through. It is going to be a jackal. Well, you mean that last time we actually saw this map in our last series? You said Jason. Uh, you, oh, sorry, I, my brain is now stuck on Jason because I'm trying to remember to call you that this throughout this. Please, you please, said jackal. Call me it's gonna be jackal. We're saying a jackal. Call me, call me Hector. Hey, call me Hector. All right. <laughs> Amir and Kai, it's nothing too shocking. The Jackal is something that you've called before, and the Thatcher off the board, which is not always on this map, but it's still a very solid ban. Say, for the Jackal ban, I mean, I think we had, what was it, uh, the Pioneers opt to play him from time to time, so that only makes sense why Lebanon actually opted to get rid of the Spaniard Operator. Other than that, I feel like it is kind of a waste of a ban. I think it was more just for targeted emphasis because of how effective the Rome game can be on a map like Villa. But we have had the Lion in play by Lebanon Valley, so they are not afraid to get their hands dirty in that endeavor. But instead, they'll just opt to use the Ayana for most of their intel gathering. And funny enough, no Nomad still in this matchup here tonight. We are opting for the Zero in the pocket to make stuffins, which again is not a bad operator at all. You just have to be much more proactive when utilizing him for that flank watch and overall just playing zero in general because his most of his gadgets are not really set and forget those secondary hard bridges could be quite effective put in the right hands and then those cameras yes you can play some and forget about them kind of but you'll still you still need to be on them to actually utilize their uh, information gathering tips or also just the zappers on them as well now barrel yeah, I don't see this one every day. Are they going to Gon 6 it? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the oh. look of disappointment. McStuffins, you have secondary you got hard nothing breach. You left. It. You secondary hard breach. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Man. Man. I'm having so much fun I'm with so you sad. here, John. I'm having so much fun with you. Oh my goodness, we have seen enough for a lifetime, that's, that's for sure. I'm actually really impressed that that barrel only had one panel break, and not even the full panel, only like half of the panel. There was still stuff on the top and bottom. Literally a board of the barrel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe if maybe that is a practice routine, and like, if you nail it right, then like the whole barrel breaks, and it like, like plays like, I don't know, like a Donkey Kong tune. 
I don't know, something referencing to barrels if you do it correctly, but just the one time Mr. Davis goes and it fails. I don't know. It just seems like such an unorthodox approach. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if you go full monkey mode or something, maybe that could help you out. I frankly have no idea. So that bottom floor roam clear is not going to happen. Lebanon Valley opting just to go for the standard stuff so far, trying to get that triple wall opened on up, yet there is a mute jammer actually uh, stopping them in their current uh, attempts for the time being. They could easily break that though with a well-tossed grenade underneath or just simply getting some sort of thing like a uh, Argus camera to zap it away or really anything. They could even go around the mute jammer as well, kind of play over it, perhaps like Liquify is opting to go for with those Selma charges that opens up a sight line for the nade to get tossed out, but no, it bounces back in front of them! Oh my goodness, doesn't seem still matter winning. though as Mr. Davis will thankfully find a couple of picks off screen and it's only Saucy Monkey, apparently! It is just Mr. Davis walking up red to do more than enough for his team to still have Lebanon get round number one in the books despite how poor their early bits of that round went for them. They can't keep getting away with this! They can't keep getting away with it! That is the second time, the second time, no, we'll make it third, actually, is I, I, the barrel was in the same round, so technically classified in the same, I don't care. We saw it on map one, we saw Sinnott flash himself, walk off a ledge, fall down, be DVNO'd on himself, get picked back up, and then they win the round, and not just winning the round, the Sinnott actually comes up and is the leading player to win that round. And then you turn around in this one, Mr. Davis, who had a cheeky little play there onto a barrel, the barrel coming out on top, and apparently an M and an objects being well, not only the victor in this one with Lebanon Valley coming out on top, despite also having a team kill with a nade. <sighs> Mark it on the scoreboard because they're not the only players with kills. Serum Psyduck's got something to say about it. Oh man, be first one it was right me now. talking about Psyduck baiting his teammates on Snow Balcony, and now it's him uh, nading one of his own teammates as well. There was a redemption arc though that we saw on map one for that baiting actually stepping up to do his job, finding a lot of those frags on the final round of Shelley. So maybe we'll have Psyduck actually land a couple of grenades properly throughout this matchup here on Villa. Still five more rounds to redeem themselves, so I'm not all that worried for the Finca player of Saida currently. What I could be worried about though are those cap can traps because the element of surprise that is always showing, especially in Collegiate. So if someone doesn't do their due diligence checking those doorways with a drone or just their own two eyeballs, well, we could see a lot of damage being done early on or maybe even a death because those cap can traps can now be stacked up. But so far, those EDDs are not going to be required to find any damage just yet because Saucy Monkey has a saucy angle that gets rid of Mr. Davis off the board pretty early. And speaking of saucy, no Maestro on the defense here. So no meatball in play. This is one that was very popular back in a couple seasons ago. Obviously not really coming into the fray recently, but... Okay, thank you very much for the for the interruption there. What was it? What did I call you, Jason? <laughs> um, the double AV wall, man. They never reinforced it. That's oh why I cut God. you off oh for an AV God. site. Oh my God! That's the only reason why I cut you off. But oh my <laughs> God! Look at the nitro cells they've stacked in as well for this. Why three nitros on this objective? Are you playing from below with three players? They're not. They're all on top floor. What They're all this? extended over towards Master Bedroom 2. Ben Helsing's going to have a huge activity. rotate with Silent. This is, we said monkey plays, and that's what we're seeing. They are through the grapevine right now, trying to swing themselves back into the fray. I mean, Mr. Davis may be down, and Limited Valley may be a player down, but if they just swiftly push on a site and go even on trades it's a post plant they'll even think that with mcstuffins from red stairs to corner of 90 onto saucy monkey and silent with a great peek out from the window of master bedroom all the way over towards the outside balcony of study mcstuffins with their second and that mp7 has proven deadly Oh, up. there it is again. Brilliant shot landed by McStuffins. There goes the Mossberg, though. Case, I believe, drop perhaps. And now Psyduck will be dropped as well. The only one alive is now Stuffins having to try to find the ace here. But it's actually the mute to swing wide rather than Lion Poppy as 
I think they're still waiting currently in the back of bar, playing this one as safe as humanly possible. And I believe we can now spot that out on the highlight here. Mick Stuffins will have to try to do their best of gathering any last second information and trying to win that 1vx situation as there is no way they're going to get that plant yeah, down when there is no one up and alive to actually help them cover while they're going for that diffuse a bit of a information being gathered through the back of bar they are completely aware of the smoke's position and they might actually try to go for a plant here potentially they are backing up as far away as they can now trying to stick this one to the ground lion poppy now having to get aggressive but they are just they're not pushing at all they're trying to play range with a shotgun the exact opposite of what you should be doing they're now trying to close the gap here but mcstuffin has already fallen back inside of study more information being gathered and now he knows exactly where the smoke is playing at they get ace. up close and personal and McStuffins gets the ace lion poppy not having any time to whip around with the shotgun to try to get rid of the zero they opted for the smg 11 in close proximity man my head is just in a swivel right now because that round should not have went the way it did for McStuffins mr davis dying first always creates just chaos have you noticed that here jason i mean mr davis arguably the best player for their side we talked about how they were the highest ranked individual in this entire match or in terms of history being the highest ranked in this match as their their peak was um a couple ranks higher if i remember correctly uh so we expected a lot from him we've seen a lot but if mr davis goes down it creates complications with us the squad about how you're going to enter and how you're going to progress from that point onwards. And that was definitely the complication in that situation. But wow, that landing stairs, red stairs was just paramount to finding any and all defense in that position. I mean, first and foremost, Saucy Monkey in a good spot playing in at 90, but stayed there too long. Once you're able to find that first pick, you should be done in that situation. You should rotate back and hold down 90 for maybe up top towards lamp light, maybe top of main stairs. Any of those would have been a, a more viable option in my opinion, but wow. Recovery, retribution, and a resounding 2-0 lead now for the Lebanon Valley side. And we are in fact seeing Saucy Monkey on the Saucy Operator himself. And by Saucy, I mean Pasta Saucy, as it's the Italian meatball man of Maestro. Oh, well, you know what they say when the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, that is a, a maestro, not a more, unfortunately. So hopefully he'll get, he'll get a lot really in here on the maestro pick, which is oh, one of our personal favorites. He's a phenomenal intel gatherer. He's great for some sort of plant denial if you are still Changing alive mice. as a maestro, and he's got a great gun, the Alda. It's an LMG with no recoil and plenty of bullets just to simply hold down M1, so... The kill department, which is something that the Pioneers have been lacking on, especially towards the end parts of the round, that could be gigantic. I mean, you just have the Maestro anchor up and just sit in one spot for most of the round and just uh, try to get as many picks as you can once that push in towards site is being attempted. So that pick could honestly pay dividends so long as some uh, saucy monkey sorry, can stay alive to actually play that part of the thick boy himself next to the site to stop a push from coming in through by Lebanon. 120 seconds on the clock. That's plenty of time still for Lebanon Valley to start to get aggressive. And you can tell from the way that Carol Pioneers are playing that they're trying to... Trying to deny the siege that we're seeing. But I'm seeing a very hefty lack of ADSs apparently in terms of denial towards astronomy. Is that player that's in that very bad spot, any and all utility that's being thrown their way apparently can be able to find its target. You can see that kind of being very dangerous in that regard. I'm very worried for Lion Poppy's safety. Them seemingly aware of their own, and that's a player you want to keep alive for as long as possible. Not just because Lion Poppy is successful, but because they're the legion and their utility climbs over time. Good being, though, being the first player to fall. It's a successful kill for Lebanon Valley, and the information's not being gathered in the usual manner. Instead, from below with the zero cams, and from up in the face of the competition with Senate once again on the second floor, finding one for Master Bedroom. Saucy Monkey, though, with the Alda getting the refrag back. Well, we expected that to happen. Unfortunately, though, it's only been Saucy Monkey to find anything for the Pioneers. Four versus two. Lion Poppy sitting in the back of Astro, also trying to hold a similar angle as to what the Maestro is currently here. They are 
relatively separated from one another so this could actually be a pretty good place to be for lebanon now opting to go for the plant and i don't think there's any proper sight lines here for the maestro to help deny they cannot get on their evil eyes here and unfortunately they will not have any backup from lion poppy either as they're put down in the dirt the only one left to stand here is going to be saucy monkey now having to find the ace in a one versus three post plant situation it's not looking all that hopeful in the slides we have seen an ace before in the hands of mcstuffins but i'm not too sure if the meatball man himself can actually get the job done and unfortunately that is going to be the case Psyduck from the backside leading from Master Bedroom will get the final pick of the round and it's 3-0 and oh, favoring Lebanon here on this first half this is a solid start for them, especially considering the fact that Carol managed to collect one or two rounds. It was really just off that basement site alone. Maybe we will manage to find an objective somewhere along the way that will allow for Carol Pioneers to collect something themselves. But with them on the attack, Lebanon Valley, uh, Carol Pioneers can pick everything, but they're just not finding it. Now back to Trophy and Statuary. Apparently they liked, for some reason, enough to go back and reattempt, but they just... If they even get this, they still have to go back to an objective that they have not felt safe on. Or if they do, they can go to the tertiary site and try that instead. But Lebanon Valley have really separated themselves right now in this one, especially in terms of individual players. Mick Stuffins has yet to die, Jason. Yet to die. 7-0. and oh. And one of those was an ace in a round. Since then, only having two kills, but still an ace. And from then, from that point onwards and from that round one just flawless it's very impressive to see liquify did really well the last map now at zero kills but who really needs to have that player your heart breacher in this situation get those kills when uh, you got mixed stuff and cracked out of his gorge right now say so normally when we make the uh 007 joke it's when someone goes oh oh and seven no this time it's the yeah. other way around the name is james uh bond james I bond guess james we'll to, yeah well that's what we'll have to refer to him uh today perhaps until mr S uh mick stuffins pardon not mr stuffins sorry will uh either die or find yet another pick perhaps even assist depending on where he's actually in towards the round but like you mentioned, it just doesn't really seem like the Pioneers are that comfortable. They could maybe try to go library library as a wild card option. Yet, I, I doubt that'll happen. Not many teams yeah. like to go to that middle floor site. It just seems a bit too taxing for most. Hence why we are seeing a repeat of a site we have already had in place so far. So for Lebanon Valley, they already know what they most likely have to do in this predicament for a trophy attack. Just get some control from the opposite side of the map, whether it be top or bottom for uh, the floor, and then just slowly creep their way towards either Master Side or even Astro to get a couple of picks and even more map control as well, which is exactly what they're doing. They're just defaulting their way through number, round number four in this first minute. 120 seconds, ticking down. And it's going to be an even trade off the start. In fact, even quite literally, as Mr. Davis takes out Van Helsing, but Van Helsing takes out Mr. Davis. Only one kill gathered since that point in time as they Spider-Man memed their way through that opening frags. And it will go in favor of the Carol Pioneer side. It's a great play, taking and removing the player trying to come in from study. But from the looks of things, the rest of the Levitt and Valley are looking to engage from the master bedroom side and as well as from that astronomy window. That's where a lot of pressure was applied this previous time. And... Now there's just no pressure anywhere. Liquify cut down and stripped away from this round. Now it's up to the Sin and Syra. Sorry, Syrup Psyduck. I was trying to get that next kill done quick enough. It's Sin it falling. One on three. And Syrup Psyduck only has one kill, one assist, and one death. Don't just don't die. Keep that perfect score right now. You are breakneck even this entire time. But that's a long time to wait 60 seconds. I, I doubt we'll see that go through. Also, who killed and Mick Stuffins? That's you just ruined that. Yeah, so sad. I guess we reached, uh, we manifested it into reality. Still, three adrenaline surges. Something that we talked about uh, last match was the lack of utility usage, and we're seeing that yet again on the second matchup of the night. Psyduck not utilizing any of their finger boosts. They can now start popping them if they want to, though. But they've only got 30 seconds to play with, and not a lot of options to actually get the 1v3 as a proper clutch they will now pop the first of many finko boosts to maybe try to have ends meet here the mute still playing behind the deployable shield will get a second pick here on the round psyduck eventually falling and finally we have some sort of response a sign of life 
by the defensive side of Carol Pioneers as they finally get around on the board. But if it's only going to be that singular round, things might not be all sunshine and rainbows for them just yet. Sunshine and rainbows. Yes. Happy this thoughts. is a very beautiful vacation home, by the way. I've always loved this map oh aesthetically. My God. Um, you know, uh, you do know the the terminology of a villa, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That just, I don't know. Figured I'd ask because uh, <laughs> for a long time, like when I like started playing the game, villa was like in the game. I did not. So you did not know what a villa was? No. Like that was year, that was years ago. Though I, I'm like pretty dumb now, and I was like oh, even okay. dumber back okay. then. So you gotta you gotta cut me some slack. Okay, I cut you some slack. I cut you some slack. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Cut you off a piece of that Kit Kat bar too. Here we go. I love your guts. <clears throat> oh, it's break your beat. Break your beat. Was that? Is that the tune of this? Oh, um, have a break. Have a kick out. Oh, no, they used to have a song. I don't know if it's still used. Um, I digress, though. Uh, I really like the new map. Mm. That's kind of what I was trying to go towards. Uh, the new map that they've they've shown, and not it's not going to release immediately, obviously, but it looks gorgeous. The aesthetics for it are very modern, very sleek. I do stress, as well as a lot of other people, how the really open objectives are going to fare. Because uh, initially, think about Throne Room over on Theme Park. That is a pretty open objective, and some of the objectives on that map from the view of things, it's probably even bigger. It's going to be interesting to see how you defend that one. You know, one funny thing you can do on the map of Villa as well, you talked about openings, you can actually repel down the... Uh, the back skylight near uh, Vine or Jungle, whatever you prefer to call it, also near Grandfather. Um, and you can just kind of hop into Trophy Room and Statuary through that. It's very hilarious. And does it ever work? No, not really. But when it does well, work, if we saw it just, that, I would lose it. I would it lose is it. Something to <laughs> I would lose behold. it. I have seen it once. I thought they nerfed that. I thought they removed work. that. Um, I don't think they have. It used to be able to repel it. They used to be able to glitch it and repel it. Say, um, it is actually not a glitch. It is a feature in the game, and oof, that is a well-landed shot by Van Helsing. So when we talked about a little bit on Chalet being able to find a couple of picks when needed to, and this can be one of those many opportunities as actually get sort of Liquify, who has not found any success in map two at all. Man, you keep handing me at 120 seconds left. The middle stage of these rounds have been pretty important, especially considering the fact of last round where we saw a large majority of the kills for it kind of going against Lebanon Valley's favor. And one of the big ones was a player trying to step in from study and silent, being able to take the mountain stride. And look, what we're seeing once again, McStuffins, unfortunately stopping his face too deep in his phone. Yeah, Candy Crush could wait, buddy. You're going to have to stay in. It's a warfare right now. And unfortunately, the kill drops in Silent's favor as they're not so silent on the kill feed here in the round. 30 seconds have been closed off since the last time I spoke about it, and that's a pretty important middle stage. There's still a swift entry available for Lebanon Valley. Look at them hanging out and hesitating towards that laundry side. It's just a game of poking and prodding, and their biggest poke right now is going to be in towards Pantry. As this is where you typically see teams full sprint in, and yet... Just one player, Davis, and they come up big with a kill. The first one for Lebanon Valley in this round. Not completely over just yet for the attacking side, but still a lot of work to be done. If we could have Senate actually rotate towards the site with the rest of his teammates, which I think he's trying to actually do here, they could potentially go for a plant. Lion Poppy on such a HP will finally get eradicated by Psyduck. Now completely evened here, three versus three, and I'm pretty sure the Senate has now finally entered the site itself. Could now go for a plant. Psyduck finds one. Mr. Davis follows suit, leaving only Silent left to stand as they try to move around. That Rotero drone most likely spotting out the Valkyrie so they do not have an instant access point in towards the site. They'll try to outduel Psyduck, but they're not able to land enough shots to finish the dirty deed. Still, that 1v3 because of it, but that Nitro Cell will open up another sight line to finish off the Finca eventually now put themselves in the one versus two still post plant though and mr davis is going for some sort of shenanigans towards the back side can maybe shoot silent in the back for free towards memo even if the senate ends up dying here this is still a pretty phenomenal position for lebanon to play in the timer is still going down closer and closer towards zero seconds as well not leaving a lot of options here for silent now with eight seconds left they have to stick the plant and senate is just watching with a keen full eye lebanon valley now taking their fourth round here on the first half and still doing quite well for their attacks there's still plenty. There's another round to go here in this half, so we could see a 
I guess, immensely dominant half for the Lebanon Valley side. They could go up 5-1, or we could see this one go 4-2, which would be a much preferable score outline for the Carroll Pioneer side. And keep in mind, this this map, I think you're going to agree with me, typically considered defender-sided, but there have been certainly attacking teams that have made resurgencies, such as like Half A, where typically defender-sided, but attacking teams have found rapid success. It really just depends on the team you're playing. Uh, and in this stance, Lebanon Valley's aggression and the way that they like to play, because they do like to wait for the lineup, they do like to wait for the setup, but they actually have to be able to make their way into the sides to do that. And that's where they struggle, that middle stage of the round, as well as the entry into the, the actual map. Uh, if they're able to get to that point, then it is pretty much a do-or-die situation for the defensive side, because if Lebanon Valley get there... It's really hard to remove them from that position. They're like an unfortunate piece of tape that accidentally has curled back onto itself. Uh, it's sticking on both sides, and it's just ridiculously annoying. Just cut yourself a new one, and the new one probably ending up being the new round where you can try to alleviate some of the mistakes you made in the last one. Best case scenario here for the Pioneers is they manage to get this round as a victory. But I, I'm really wondering if they're going to even be able to do that because the only time we have seen them at their at their best is when Lebanon Valley made a bunch of mistakes on their attack when they were just basically funneling themselves into really awkward positions trying to deal with good being behind a deployable shield. It's just such a hassle unless you have some sort of grenade or gone six to fully destroy it, which in their case, Lebanon Valley did not have the required utility to actually do that. So they they just kind of set themselves up for defeat there. Carol Pioneers luckily took full advantage of that, so props to them. But only on that singular round. Other than that, Lebanon Valley have been able to take Villa by force a majority of these altercations. I'm not too sure if that Rotera drone actually was able to detonate in time. No, I believe the Newt Jammer caught it at just the last second. So that shield inside of shelves will not be broken just yet, but at least having that pressure begin to build up so early round number six is still not bad at all for Lebanon Valley. Attackers dropped the diffuser. It's finally the first kill dropping, and that was actually the diffuser holder for Liquify on the side of Lebanon Valley. Let me refrag back, though. This didn't take long to do so, and it's actually an explosive piece of utility from Syrup Sidehook's hands onto the player of Saucy Monkey, Nade, sent, and it's actually successful. Still one more left in the pocket for the player of Syrup Saucy, two in the back pocket of Mr. Davis. I think one of the problems we've seen is Mr. Davis not getting the opportunity to use the nades, just playing a bit more aggressively guns up strategy. And we've seen that once again. If trade went to Carol Pioneers, but Mr. Davis finds the refrag back. But Van Helsing with a 9x19, a 9v19, I guess I should say. Able to find themselves another man advantage favoring Carol Pioneers. And you can hear the E1E go out, the Lion Utility trying to scope out what's possible. But look at the information that is just everywhere from Lebanon Valley. We've seen this map one and all the way through here to map two. They have drones everywhere. They're gathering so much intel and they're now looking to act off of it. A quick swing donned back body shot. Mr. Davis comboing with Mick Stuffins. Talk about a total polar opposite polarity between these two sides in terms of drone usage. Say, so luckily here for the Pioneers, they've got three smoke canisters and also a nitro cell to boot as well. So they're not out of the fight just yet in this two versus two, but still plenty of utility on the side of Lebanon as well. They've got nades, plenty of drones, and the Iona scanner, along with the Lion as well, still having plenty of their gadgets to work with on top of that too. So this is going to be, like you mentioned earlier, funny enough, kind of a war of attrition with that first piece of utility, that nitro cell actually going out way too early before anything can actually get done. And that smoke grenade is not going to be as effective as the defense probably expected. Most of it will actually be profligated towards that back side of the vault door and for the most part looks like Lebanon Valley are opting to go for more of a back take here a singular plant is being attempted by McStuffins no coverage except his own with that drum mag vector there is a refrag here by good being but they're walking through their own teammate smoke nade so now they're on 5 HP one shot will do the trick here as good being is almost dead to rights they'll have to fall back oh. in towards red but the pre-fire by good being what a play by the mute realizing that a push was bound to abrupt and just being in the right place at the right time will grant Carol, Pi Carol Pioneers sorry, a second round on the first half. They're not out without a fight just yet, apparently, Scott. I'm not the only one who messes it up, huh? <laughs> yeah, holy smokes. <laughs> wow. Literally, that was such... Yeah. <laughs> 
That was such an interesting play there by Goodwing. The pre-fire rotating back through towards Red Stairs. The the decision to go towards Red Stairs instead of Classical Hall was also a fairly interesting one. I can I, I can almost guarantee that the comms were in the ears there. Is run, just run, get away, run, time, let time run, run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good being though, turning around, still going for the kill. That takes that takes some confidence. I, I respect that, too. It's just the absolute. There has to be a level of respect between these two players in terms of respecting when you can push and respecting when that cushion is not yet ripe enough to um, push through in terms of being an attacker. Because there are moments in these rounds where, as an attacking team, you haven't created space and you haven't softened up the defense. And if you try to bite into a completely overcooked cookie, you're going to break some teeth. You got to you got to attack at the right time. You have to know exactly what to do. You have to bake the cookie at the right temperature, make sure it's got a lot of milk as well so it goes down easy and just have a good time. Try. I, I really miss cookies. Yeah. What? what do you mean don't eat the cookie? If it's like that overcooked? Well, when I think of overcooked Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cookie, like, don't know like, like don't let it get overcooked, right? And like Oh, yeah, know yeah, when yeah, to pull okay. the cookie out, know when to attack, and like know when to dive I on I heard site. the milk and I was like, oh, he's like talking about you dip it to try to make it soft. No, dude, no, don't. They, oh, uh, I'll, must ruins. have been uh, in one like, ear, out the other for me uh, on that yeah. altercation. I know you drone me out all the time, but yeah. Uh, well, I was really looking at the fact that Danny put Cooper in a in Steam Chat in a, instead of oh. Copper. Steam Chat? <laughs> <laughs> ST, STB. A stream yeah, be live. Go. Sorry, I mean you could message me on Steam. It's just very loud. Exposing right now of our like back production work. Okay, and <laughs> that was such a such a <laughs> such an unexpected response to me. <laughs> okay, and <laughs> a little on the nose, but fitting. It's just just so blasé about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. That's I know, I feel that right there. Look what Liquify. The player that has found zero oh, kills oh, so oh, far oh. and is now in the most aggressive spot you can be in sprays through tagging Van Helsing. Player that's found three, an infinite amount more kills, and I can't believe you go through an entire half of Liquify, especially after you performance on map one without finding a frag. I get that Mr. Davis and McStuff friends are stealing it, but come on, I mean, you can do this. You're a very solid player, but He's playing to die. I'm sorry. Liquify is in a just horrible location and doesn't really have a great getaway and has to create the space. And unfortunately, Van Helsing denies the opportunity. So even though we finally have uh, Liquify fall, just he was dominating so much of that position so well for a very long time. I mean, he really was asserting himself as someone you do not want to mess with despite the fact the man has not found a single pick in all seven rounds of play only death so far but van helsing is one shot away from actually meeting the exact same fate so that could be a pretty easy refrag here for lebanon valley not too concerned about them they also still have psyduck playing quite aggressive inside of 90 they aren't giving up a lot of map control for free which i like oof mixed stuff and you have to hit those friend is he's gonna lose a lot of his hp because he was missing out on some vital shots and good being just being the good player in towards 90 gets rid of the castle and now this is a fantastic position for the pioneers so long as they can net at least one more pick in these last 30 seconds time Kind of a problem though, especially when he comes to anchoring up on the side. A good recovery there by Mr. Davis to tie things up three on three, but a track singer kill by Van Helsing onto McStuffins. Senate able to spray down with the all did a saucy monkey. We, I don't think I've ever seen that in my life, John. Uh, but a great flick over by Lion Poppy on the Senate. It's Mr. Davis left and the one on two. Van Helsing and Lion Poppy, the two foes he must work his way through. Nitro Cell sent. It's only going to tag the wall. There's really no chance to get beyond that. And in a very poor spot needs to make a quick and swift rotate to be able to contend on to this objective diffuser is down time with straight force now into mr davis's lap and questions that should be answered need to be answered and van helsing's weapon will do just that spraying them down from top of red stairs and watching over towards that classical hall it's an easy cleanup for the side of Kara pioneers oh, davy one shot man that's all you had to land on a gridlock I would have had it in the good old one versus one, the mono a mono. Could have actually had that round, but thankfully, Carol Pioneers were once again just able to isolate, and I think the Senate just got far too aggressive. 
I get it. You've already worked a couple of picks. You're feeling yourself. You're on the maestro, and Alda is one of the weapons you have to highly respect as an attacker. But when you have both defenders so far away from one another, you could essentially put yourself in a two versus one, theoretically speaking, which is exactly what happened for the Pioneers that allowed them to get rid of the Maestro pretty effectively after he wreaked havoc for quite some time. They got the plant down because the mute was just not in a proper position to deny it for default. And then it was an uphill battle from there on out. And simply uh, Davis just tripped and fell, did not climb over the hill and get to see the, the beautiful view from that mountain peak. So I believe we'll see a reattempt now of Aviator and games for Lebanon Valley as they were pretty close to bringing back that round as a victory, yet they still didn't confirm it. So they'd rather just end things out here on this top floor site before trying anything else just yet. Do you think Lebanon Valley? How do I phrase this? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to say something dumb left. here, John. I know I usually do. Sorry, Jason. Oh, I messed up. I don't want to say anything too please. dumb here, Jason. Five Hector, I apologize. Ah, uh, yes, it's okay, you, sir. Um, mm. Indubitably. Indubitably. <laughs> uh, I feel like there needs to be a different, a different operator going on this extension. Plain and simple. Why is Liquify being your roamer? Why is Liquify being your player that's straggling off site? Why is Liquify, the player that has found zero kills in eight rounds, the player that has died seven times in those eight rounds despite you having four victories, and the player that is now bearing down what looks like a laundry rush, <laughs> playing on the extended, and as a pulse on the extended, this is not season one. Pulse is not a roamer in this regard. It just seems like such a strange concept. I get you may need to do it from play from underneath to keep a liquefy at the late stage of the round, but he's been dying first in a lot of these rounds. You're really praying for an oddity throughout this game. So at least a minute has been taken off the board, but my sentiment exactly. Liquify has not been doing a lot for his team and all my... Yeah, no, why would you swing that with the UMP? Oh no, Liquify is just not feeling himself this game right now. The Pioneers are taking full advantage of this quintessential four versus five, favoring themselves almost every single round. Silent gathers a bit of information here, but loses a bit of HP as well because they already know he's sitting outside of Boar Balcony, so it's only a matter of time before someone tries to get that refrag. You hear the track singers being deployed in the background as well. McStuffins is kind of in a... A uh, do or die position for now because there's no way he can rotate down. But here comes Psyduck from I don't even know where. He went through a mudroom push and got two picks back to back to completely flip the script and now give Lebanon the man advantage. <sighs> How has Lebanon managed to crawl back into this one? It has felt like a bit of a crawl as they have been. Attackers have located I'm going to make a reference. What game? Uh, Warzone? Let's do that. You know when you get downed and you have to crawl back to get help? That's really what oh that's God. really what Lebanon Valley has felt like as the damage has been swift constantly through these rounds. Carol Pioneers have found very influential kills and impactful ones, to say the least. But Lebanon Valley just somehow constantly being able to be picked back up, constantly being able to recontend and Man, the life is refusing to drain out of their eyes. First, it's a play that just shouldn't have happened in the first place for McStuffins, missing everything. But they still managed to pick up a frag right outside of landing. Players stepping up from behind a shield. Something you don't typically do in a, in a regression situation. They, but they aggressed into it. Lion Poppy, DB and Owned in main hall. And look at the information that's being gathered on that wall by that bulletproof cam. This could come down to... A rundown, maybe a toxic babe toss. We see one being held by Mr. Davis, but they're not doing anything with it just yet. But with red time officially ensued, Hines going for a hard breach on a wall. He has to step out of the site. There's no time. Steps to the toxic babe. We'll get away from the situation, but it's going to be Sir of Psyduck finding the kill. Now Silent trying to do anything but that. Finding one, running out of ammo, and Senate with the Alda sprays down the last and finding themselves finally another round win. This one on the defense. I believe that is now not six to three. Yeah, it was tied to three. I was right the first time thinking that in my head, but man, numbers moving in later and later throughout the night, they just do not sit well with me. A lot of poor aim in that round to keep it a buck fifty. That yeah, was I don't, I don't wanna not I don't wanna even just down, Jaeger, but that's but not like, McStuffins, man. Like not even just shots that one. Like just not even that.
but he was the main person. The, the, right? Oh yeah, that was like the that was like exhibit yeah. A, for sure. I think not even just Behold. aim, but just taking a, a, an extra an extra step further, positioning, like pulse. You That's see a kill opening, looking down, into bore window. You know there's going to be an attacker there. Ninety nine percent chance they've got an AR. Now some quick math. AR better than SMG in terms of range and general damage. So why are you swinging them with the UMP? Let somebody else do that. You are supposed to be the person to outplay somebody, not out-aim somebody. Yet, in the exact same breath, we had Psyduck with the castle play find three kills that round. Three. So, maybe I shouldn't be too gung-ho for Liquify, I suppose. But you know what? One thing to note. We talked about how he should probably be more on a supportive role because his lack of impact in terms of kills. And finally, on the ninth round, that happens as Mr. Davis has now switched off the hard support of a smoke and now on the Malusi. And that role of the hard support will be gifted to liquefy as they're now actually rocking the SAS operator instead. Do you think there's complications right now for Carol Pioneers? Do you think it was, okay? Uh, there's okay. complications. Period. I don't need to elaborate further. Is that was that a swing round? Do you think that was the round that that swings things back to Lebanon? Do you think Carol Pioneers have lost their last breath of fresh oh. air in Lebanon Valley? Also, we'll oh, Mr. Davis. For sure. Are, oh, no. 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 Mm, you should not have fired. You're now in a very bad spot. But somehow, Mr. Davis misses the opportunity of this round, which could come back to bite them ultimately in the rear. But look at the aggression from Carol Pioneers. They're just going to step up the staircase and use that spacing that now Mr. Davis is hesitant to push through as a means to get up through study. Uh, having two gridlock tracks actually pop to make sure they're not going to have to worry about their six without getting that audio call looks like mcstuffins will land at least a few shots and it's silent will return the favor but onto psyduck instead carol pioneers having a pretty decent start so far with the rome game being pretty ineffective for lebanon valley still plenty of time left to go for that drone reconnaissance and potentially also clear out the rest of this top four the only problem that i have is they only have three breaching charges and one ash round to actually get any vertical sight line so despite the fact they have most of this pressure established on the top floor once it's fully confirmed they'll just simply have to give it up and then move a, another floor down to eventually push the site and they've only got about a minute 15 to play with so time is still ticking against them so they really have to up the ante there in these last couple of romans that they still want to have a chance of denying match point and series point mcstuffins capitalizing and fixing the mistake that happened last round they find one Tying us up 4-4. Mr. Davis still lagging behind. Sending set well on the first floor. This looks like a second floor approach from the side of Carapineos. Obviously from their attempt to remain stairs and trying to flush through this second floor. But despite them playing on multi-directionals, it has felt one-dimensional. Because all five were stacking through the same halls to get to the same location. But breaching charges placed onto these doors. These castle barricades. What? McStuffins what? able to capitalize for two. No, you can't miss there, McStuffins. And now he's going to pay the price. Lion Poppy with the kill. You cannot let that happen. Lebanon Valley could have had a four versus one against Lion Poppy. And it's just... It's like water through the fingers when you're trying to cup your hand. Instead of cupping, you just leave your fingers splayed wide open. Lion looks ahead off Senate. Mr. Davis will finally finish Van Helsing. And now it's the one on two. Six seconds. Rent time. And this is Lion Poppy doing everything they can now for us to step onto the site. Go for the plant. Has to stick it. And I think Lebanon Valley are probably going to allow this one. No. Last second. Liquify will find their first round kill. I think their first kill total. They may have gotten yes. one of the earlier ones. But... Good night. That was just about the most burnt round I've seen Lebanon Valley throw. You know That's the not worst something part, I wanted to say into this. The worst part about McStuffin there is nobody calmed McStuffin in bathroom. The gridlock was completely oblivious. They just walked past McStuffins in bathroom. Just another day at the office, simply put it. They were just walking down Astro as if nothing had happened to their teammate in bathroom. And then they get downed. A little upset that, yes, we didn't have McStuffins finish off that kill or confirm with the pistol or just do anything with what he did there, but he still did plenty by confirming uh, by confirming to hold that top floor for a little while longer. Did plenty of damage to let Lebanon uh, secure match in our series point, 
but oh my god please stop yelling and being okay, mad for dying in a dumb spot call out where you died if they if they did not call out where they died i'm gonna be livid for carol pioneers yeah i mean genuine criticism here the listen to uh, you can find scrims online of teams i don't care what game it is it could be overwatch could be valorant could be league of legends like Notice how clean the comms are. It seems hectic. It seems just the most volatile environment to be in. But just these short words that everyone is muttering everywhere all the time. Every single one of those is important. Every single one of those can make a massive impact. And that's what your comms should feel like. It shouldn't be this massive. I don't know. I don't know I, it shouldn't be individuals being individuals. It should be a team relaying the necessary information to just drive your team forward i think that's i think that's mm -hmm. the best way to phrase it but we'll move forward it is match point 11 in valley they're up six to three we know the score line for our first map came down to not exactly the one it was seven to three so we could see the exact same score line here of lebanon valley on the defense can continue to clutch out and they have definitely spread themselves ahead i think you were right after my guesstimation that that round two rounds ago was a swing round for lebanon valley just did not think it would swing in their way in such a manner where we'd be getting migraines this late into the into the night. About the fist, fist? No, first minute. I have not punched a fist Attack in through my monitor bomb. just yet, but we're working on it. Just making some indents just it's about plenty now. Plenty of time. Of course. Oh dear. Ooh. Wow. All right. Well, that's why I got to hit him in the head there, boss, because the MP5 does not do a whole lot of damage on any platform of this game but hey at least van helsing will get a very big slap on the wrist to make sure they do not uh, have their six unchecked especially on the gridlock of course your only set of flank watch no one droned out hunting so psyduck gets a freebie and could probably find more because they still have backup from mcstuffins this is not a good start at all for carol pioneers especially since this is the round they need to win in order to survive here on villa for potentially just a little while longer and maybe even claw their way towards overtime but it might be uh, too little too late as now that Mr. Davis has finally finished off his prey of Van Helsing, it's a four versus three with not much left to be done here for Carol Pioneers. It just feels like a make it or break it situation, and it surely is. And what a time for the side of Lebanon Valley to coordinate a, I guess, solid defense. We've seen a very hefty lack in this map, especially. It was a little bit better in the first map of coordination and chemistry. We've seen a huge lack of chatting, a huge lack of... Uh, I would say duos, so to say, as they've been a little bit slow to go for the retakes, a little bit slow to go for those refrags, a little bit slow to assist their teammates. We saw a really great level of assistance when it came to the games room, as well as when it came to Classical Hall, but the looks of things, it starts to go both directions. Lion Poppy gets the diffuser down. This has been a fabulous recovery from Carol Pioneers, and it's silent with a pistol shot to the head of Senate. It's just McStuffins. The player we've been a fan of and also have kind of dogged on a little bit here was be the last man standing and it will not be allowed to turn in with the same outcome as map one. At least one more round will be played. And it is in fact the victory towards Carol Pioneers. Round 11 ensured. That was a really great job by Pioneers to understand that they had to swallow their pride and give up that clear from the the back side of the map from study and they rotated around they had a nice cutoff angle established there by the sledge and then silent had fantastic coverage you know the one time i'm not going to be mad at an iana for not having a gone six was right then and there because there was simply no time to reload that arx you had to go in for the swing and you had a pistol to do it so that netted you that second pick to allow the plant to go down so Good stuff done by Carol Pioneers to keep themselves up and alive for potentially another round. I think we were supposed to have a technical timeout. I don't know if we actually okay, were able to do that. So that's awkward. Bet five bucks. Danny was typing. Yes, he was typing in the uh, the chat. I'm just going to straight up call you out on that one. You had one job. No, 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 <laughs> not no, please. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> no. 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 It's 12 a.m. No. Oh, Daniel, no. 
The Freudian. You just sword. had one job. And this is what happens when we pull observers off the street. SMH, uh, man. Am I right? I mean, <laughs> no, we said it. We're thankful enough that he came in and 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 decided to work. We're thankful enough that he came to the table and yeah, I got picked up off the street to work this. But he's done it before, so uh, we've got ourselves uh, a little bit of a rehost to go through. So. Fellow, I'm going to say it. It's not a Carol Pioneer's victory, just an FYI, for those of you who don't know. I'm just going to say it. I don't think... I don't think... <laughs> what happened right there? I don't think yeah. there's very many more rounds to be played out. I do think we'll probably see Lebanon Valley make the return, but that last round was pretty big, and it could be possibly be the thing that puts some oomph, puts some drive behind, uh, you know, the Carol side. And, you know, with the tech pause, you might not be able to, you know, talk with your coach, for example, but you can still talk with the rest of your teammates while you're getting that problem resolved. So this is just a good mental breather of, okay, we got a round win on the board. We're not out of the fight just yet. There is still a chance, but we've got to play these next two rounds basically perfectly here for the attacking side. So, they will have plenty of time to conversate through because we have to revamp 10 rounds uh, for both sides of, I believe it's six to four, favoring the side of Lebanon. So we are going to be here for quite a, quite a, quite a while. Not a while. I wanted to say while earlier to get a reaction of you, but now I will say the say it, uh, proper little while. You, you don't over enunciate the, the, ho, the, ho. 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 no, fortunately not. Hmm. It's fine. Alas. I'd like to point out a couple of the key players that we saw really step up where they needed to. For the Lebanon Valley side, like we had anticipated, we were going to see Mr. Davis go off, and we have seen that on this map. McStuffin was a player that I said was pretty good, and I was fairly expecting to see him go off, and we did see that there, and they're also apparently a member of the swim team. Uh, however, Senate was the player with the smoke last time we saw these two teams play that actually held their own on the map of Oregon, despite their, I will say it, abysmal, and they even agreed at the time, and I even helped guide them a little bit on um placement so did you um for bunker and they still held their own in that position they were a team that was clinically talented in terms of finding these frags they just weren't uh they didn't have the tactics one second my camera is slightly there we go fix it the green screen is if it's not go. straight on it doesn't work you know uh, yeah right right <laughs> i actually have a question Can't for get you. enough of that should i get like rgb strips that like lay up into into the uh uh no cute? into that under part so like it's just like this slight coloration on the wall you know like just like paint your bricks different colors i already painted the bricks you know my paint dad's we again. spent oh my goodness paint the them amount again. of man hour time because <laughs> we have to get in between each and every one of this into that grout and you have to like yeah. see that section right there you know that's a brick that's like chipped there is there i had to get paint into there i oh. we spent four days painting this wall and it's pretty oh big. God. It's not like that bad, but it's just that much work to get it done correctly and well. Otherwise, you see like little white freckles all over it, right? It's just not what you mm -hmm. want. Um, my dad said he's going to paint the wall alone when I move out at some points, and he's going to paint it like white and not paint sure. the grout. He's going to paint really lightly over the top and not paint the grout so that the inside of the brick and the brick itself is white, and then it's got this like gray grout. This It's called peppercorn is the color name. Um, mm-hmm. He's not going to do that. <laughs> no. I know why he's going to pay gonna somebody to go paint the wall. No, That's he is not. He, he won't even do that. <laughs> oh, no. Even even worse. I think Speaking of painting, though, I've been uh, this, you know? have been thinking about doing the exact same thing with my room because my room is uh, very, very odd. But I don't know. Having more of like a, like a neutral-esque kind of color, that might be what I'm opting for. Not this like random like baby light green, whatever the heck this was when I was like, a, a young lad growing up in this room so uh i don't know you could we'll think figure about it out your desk point. you know like no i did that once and like broke my back uh and it was the worst experience of my life and i'm not doing it again like i we we have time to kill because they're actually scrubbing the vod to go look for op bands and like what rounds were won and all that because I apologize, i'm gonna be honest everyone, uh, yeah. i'm gonna be honest i'm not taking notes i simply am not taking notes so I cannot be of any help. So I'm not even going to like blame our talent board of our prod and observer for like 
needing to scrub the VOD for anything. So we've got time to kill. So I can go into grave detail about how I blew up my back moving around my entire room. What so if what here, if you moved your desk? You know how you're, you're wow, what is this lag that's, that's <laughs> bit rate moment? Bit rate apparently. Or not in the Discord, it's VMix. What what if you moved your wall? You see like behind you, you see the wall to your left? The one with my boat shelf like this? Or this is not Yeah, that one. The one the opposite the one the door. Yeah, okay, what if you okay, put yeah. it what if you put your desk facing that? So that behind mm -hmm. you was the boat shelf. So you'd yep. have a you'd have a straight white background. There wouldn't be a lot of clutter in there. There wouldn't be a lot of stuff in there. Yep. What, just giving you graphic design choices, you know. Yeah, so the only problem is uh you remember that gigantic uh shelf of all my clothes? That is Yeah, uh, is that there? Really nowhere else for that to go except mm. behind me if I ended up doing that. Uh but I'm thinking of getting rid of that and adding some other uh, use of like cabinetry for my clothes. What if you so. what if you got a platform for a desk like a butcher board? Like I'm getting a butcher board desk. Uh, yep. Sometime soon. But if you got a butcher board and then for the actual sides, like the the railings to keep the the table up. What if you did like two drawers, like two like drawer things, and they'd have like three drawers, and so you could pull mm -hmm. out, and that's what you where you put your clothes. That's where you hang them yeah, instead maybe. of that you know giant shelf. That would that would not be a bad idea. I would think about that. It'd be pretty fun to make. Mine has shelves. I mean, you can hear it. It'd be uh, you know, oh yeah, it'd be pretty fun doors. to make because I actually do a fair bit of uh, woodworking, but uh, it would be much easier to buy and then just uh, just put in my room too. It's two oh nine. So. It's two oh nine at Home Depot for like a seventy four by seventy. You know how much like lumber I could buy with two oh nine, two hundred and nine dollars? Uh, yeah, you know how much like, lumber you can buy for two oh nine? Not, not that much. I checked. <laughs> We were we, we have been uh, in the process of figuring out how to build me a desk, and we have just settled on the fact that it's going to be cheaper and easier in terms of man hours to just do the butcher board, get metal no, piping because we want to no, make it look no, good. No, because because then I can go and like stain the wood what color I want. It's not going to be like some cheapo like half plastic and wood material made in like. Uh, I don't even know, like Malaysia, something even like random that you don't even see on like most random like clothing. Like this would be like from China or something. No, just straight up middle of the Himalayas or something. Okay, they they just they made the wood out of rock somehow. They broke the laws of <laughs> physics just just to just to offset my brain because of how I grew up making products. Anyways, um, I want to get a quick ETA on the on how everything's going on down, how many rounds we've got uh, sorted for the rehost. I think it's close. Uh, they're kind of, they're just trying to figure out who won which rounds and whatnot. So I think they're getting, they're getting really close. Yeah, they've so. got, they've got just yeah. about everything done. So they'll have to ask for ours. So we'll probably get the, the match back underway John, I was thinking uh, about soon. For my desk. Uh, yes. Getting a, getting, so it'd be like a iron pipe legs because that was really aesthetically kind of cool and it fits the dark nature of the room that i've got going i think that fit your room very with the well yeah with yeah with the butcher board on top gonna get yep. monitor mounts and everything very professional because i'm a professional uh shoutcaster I'm, I'm shocked to say that um mm. actually i have something i'll show you <laughs> um and so we were going to put I'm another sure. leg under the front side of the desk and we were going to put a metal sheet over the top and we were going to turn it into a one of those stylized caster desks you see at like NAL and you see at all those events. We're going to turn one into that. Um, Ooh. Would be really cool, but I'd have to get a DSLR to actually like pull the camera back against that back wall and connect it. Uh, so it's a process, but I think we're going to go for it. But that would we're back be into this one, though, John. Kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, Danny was not lying when they said uh, they almost had everything done with. And who would have thunk that uh, if we had. Uh, the rounds and all that written down somewhere we probably could have uh, not have had that that long heart to heart about uh about room setup and also hey, desks I'm which sure people I actually enjoyed that I'm sure i people yeah i did that. also enjoy that as well definitely definitely helped my sanity a bit having a bit of uh social conversation outside of just outright casting so we, we take those we simply take those dubs. we have been here for like Defenders six hours so. yeah we've been here from down. 6 30 to now midnight so that is almost six hours yes Five we weren't even half. supposed to be on for the first one. I was no nope. Rocket League, and I got brought in for that one. I was getting ready <laughs> to eat dinner. <laughs> and I was uh, like, oh, well, I guess it's not going to happen. Lives. Hey, mm. they, never, they can't say we don't care for them, because that's what we're here for, jumping in 
get the job done. But this is, once again, we're going to make it a break in position for Carol Pioneers. They obviously had that recovery the last round. And there was plenty of time for that tactical timeout. I think it was called by Lebanon Valley. So, and I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. I think they've had plenty of time to talk about it. Why would they call it? It's better to use it than to lose it, I guess, because you have the opportunity for the attack timeout. But there's the case of being too late for a tactical timeout. And with only two rounds possible disparring in OT situation remaining, it could be a little late. Yeah, potentially. I mean, it is still match and series points. I honestly cannot recall who actually did who actually did call out that last. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's pause, LBC. I'm pretty sure. I'm, uh, yeah, I I, th I think you're right. I just I genuinely cannot remember, but I believe you. Thankfully, they're the or ones who would, leave the lobby. And I would they're be the ones who confirmed they wanted the rehost. So yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right, and that I do actually remember. So good point, Scott. All right. Well, I guess that concludes the the small mystery of a mystery that did not need to be had, except I just simply foregore. Anywho, first minute. Over and done with here. The Pioneers are... Well, they haven't lost any life early on. They have not had to go for some sort of rotation because of that loss of life, as it has not happened. So this is actually relatively calm waters, so to speak, for both the Pioneers and Lebanon Valley. They've got Psyduck stacked up inside of 90, so maybe he could do a bit of light work, but he is aiming at the ankles of Saucy Monkey that will allow the Habana to get the first blood here for the Pioneers, and actually might be on the come up potentially to maybe bring things back closer towards overtime but you know it's only the first minute 30 of the round there's still plenty left to be done for both Lebanon and the Pioneers of course. Notice the tempo from Carol. They seem to be a newly refreshed squad and we're seeing that right now. Saucy Monkey. DBNO's liquefy and actually finishes the kill right after with an aid sent towards hunting and it actually tanks sent it but will escape with his life. McStuffins comes up for the kill. This starts to bring things back closer to their side but ultimately it's still pretty far. There's a disparity of one player. There's a lot of utility still in the pocket of Carol Pioneers and it's not really the same thing able to be said from Lebanon Valley as the rest of the utils mostly place and forget besides those maestro cams and you can leave liquify and sort of Psyduck to watch those to give your team that necessary guidance but I think Carol have actually left those up a little bit too long that's a lot of information all four are in that classical hall and I guarantee you that information is still being relayed by that evil eye in the corner of classical 90. Oh, unfortunately, the Nitro Cell is not going to find anything. Still a man advantage favoring the Pioneers. They try to enter the site itself, but Davis will shut that down for the time being. 30 seconds left on the board. Good being will lose a bit of their own health, but still alive. Cases drop in the smack dab middle of bar, though. That was the ace player who ended up falling pretty pretty in a nice position here for the defense. This is not a good spot at all for the Pioneers. They have got to pick up the pace in order to redeem themselves in the red time. And they also have to worry about 90 as well because of Nick Stuffins. He gets one on towards good being. Here comes the shotgun play by Davis. A one pump down goes Van Helsing, leaving silent left to stand. Everything on the line for the Ayana and they just get flattened by Mr. Davis. We saw a bit of retaliation there at the very beginning. A fantastic start by the attack, but one simple mistake of not properly clearing out the mute will actually be their demise as Lebanon Valley will still take the series 2 to nil. And who is it that does it? It's Mr. Davis TV that just swings yep. things and ultimately cleans out. When we said we were expecting Mr. Davis TV to be the clutch player, we were expecting him to, to pop off. Sorry, my dog is beneath me. And we were expecting to see rapid progress as that game progressed. And it really was a battle of attrition. Talk about the revitalized uh, surge from the side of Carroll as they just came alive. Yeah. But they couldn't finish the job. Like you said, mis misgivings, mistakes. And guess who also had the same level of break than you? It actually wanted that break in the first place. And we're ready to talk about things and slow the pace down for you. I think ultimately... The tempo that was set from the round wins from Carroll, if the timeout didn't come, they might have won. They might have brought it to OT, but the TAC timeout, very smart decision. It's not just done to talk for a moment. It does much, much more, and that was perfect for the side of LVC. It just happened to last a little bit longer than anticipated. Say, so at some point, I will have to talk to you live on air about how I uh, almost broke my back on one <laughs> fateful summer I, there's summer definitely season. a day next week I, probably <laughs> i am almost sure of it because r6 is always the time where we get to see the good old the good old mouse in action i, I was gonna whip out the hat at some point in time and uh 
finally did not gonna put it on my head though because that takes like way too long my head has definitely grown in size since seventh grade but that does our night here for the NECC R6 division. Big shout outs to, you know, all the players, of course, the chat that was sticking around and making some moments here quite enjoyable when we were glimpsing over at the Twitch stream, but also Burr for stepping up last second and also Tofu as well on the observation. And uh, of course, ourselves too, because we've been here for both best of threes and Burr as well, but they don't yeah. have uh, their Twitter ads uh, right at the bottom of the screen, unfortunately, but hey, they were still here. So uh, I was talking about Burr and not your Twitter, tofu even though i do know your tofu uh your twitter i think it is what at tofu, 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 tofu yeah. or something like that so it, it was it was tofu 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 but now it is a uh, tofu oh, okay. r6 or underscore r6 you want to give our observer a follow then well feel free to do so along with ourselves at follow the caster and at infernosis but all that being said that will conclude our night here at the NACC. hope you all have a fantastic rest of your evening and to see you all again very very soon for some more collegiate action underway tomorrow have a good night everybody.